from in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, boy, did I have a great conversation with a female acquaintance. This is a great conversation. It's real. It's hot off the presses. It's just happened. Oh, my. This is going to make for some great talk radio. So we're talking about two women here, my female acquaintance, an attractive woman who likes to date rich guys, well-heeled guys, guys of influence, etc. And her fat and fugly acquaintance. Friend, I guess you'd call her. So you've got the attractive woman, understand you have the attractive middle-aged woman who likes to date rich guys. She is unmarried. And her fat and fugly friend. And one of the things my attractive acquaintance does with her fat and fugly friend is she tries to give her a dose of reality about dating every now and then. So my attractive acquaintance is talking to her fat and fugly friend, and here is what she says. She's talking about a guy she's been dating, a guy of wealth and influence a guy who takes her out to the most expensive restaurants in town, takes her to expensive concerts, expensive everything. The guy's got cashola. And in the meantime, as they are dating, for whatever reason, and I don't know what this guy looks like, I haven't seen him, I don't know. For whatever reason, nothing has happened between them physically. There just didn't seem to be a lot of chemistry. So finally, Mr. Big says to my attractive friend, I'm going to, let's just say another country, a romantic country, one where there is nothing but luxury and wonderfulness and it's romantic and it's spectacular and it is certainly a place you would want to go if you wanted you know if you're that type of person who likes to spend money and wants to have a quote-unquote romantic experience so my attractive friend finally is in a dilemma because while she likes going out with rich guys guys of influence Guys who, well, they can have anything they want, buy anything they want, pay for anything they want, whatever. It's one thing to go out to an expensive restaurant and eat with a guy with whom you haven't found any chemistry. But it was a whole other thing to spend days or weeks in another country with him. So my... Attractive friend says to her fat and fugly friend, she says, I had to tell the guy, no, I, I don't find you attractive in that way. I just don't, and it wouldn't be right for me to go 
to another country with you and spend this time. It would be wrong. So I'm not going to do it. All right, you with me so far? All right. So here is what happens. <laughs> My attractive friend tells her fat and fugly friend that ever since she told this guy she wasn't going to leave the country with him because she wasn't, she tried to be nice about it, you know. I'm just not attracted to you in that way. And of course, I wonder, isn't that a redundant statement? I'm not attracted to you in that way. Well, in what way are you attracted to it? Attracted to meals at nice restaurants. You're attracted to nice concerts. You're attracted to going to, uh, you know, black tie events. You're attracted to that. I'm just not attracted to seeing you naked and having actual sex with you. That I'm not attracted to in that way. I, I, I'm just trying to figure out what that statement means. So she tells him this, and then the way the story got to me, my attractive friend tells her fat and fugly friend, hey, ever since I told this guy that I'm not leaving the country with him, he hasn't called me. I haven't heard from him since. Nothing unusual about that story, right? The fat and fugly friend responds by saying, I can't believe how shallow he is. That's shallow. You mean his only interest in you is that? You mean just because you're not attracted to him means he's going to stop calling you? How shallow is that? And my response as I was talking to my attractive female acquaintance was, yeah, well, your fat and fugly friend, I guess she never let people, she never let people not being attracted to her get in the way of her having a relationship. I mean, this is somebody who most of her uh, sexual experiences, she, uh, and by the way, she's living in a complete dream world, they're booty calls. She even says during the conversation, she says, <laughs> she says, well, you know, the, the, the guys I date are not very good at planning. What do you mean? Well, because they always call me at like 10 or 11 at night. They ask me if I'm home. And then they uh, come over and we have sex and then they leave. The, the, the guys I date just aren't any good at planning. <laughs> no, you're a booty call. And the guys you're dating are just hoping to get in and get out before their friends see them with you. At least that would be my guess. So wait a minute. Is that shallow? Is that shallow? If a man says, come with me to another country. Like this summer, I went to Tuscany. Let me use myself as the example. If I went to a woman and said, you know, I've enjoyed all this time we hang out and stuff. Come with me to Tuscany. Like I would ever do that. Come with me to Tuscany. If the woman said to me, I'm not attracted to you in that way. That tells me everything I need to know. There is no need to go to dinner anymore. There is no need to go to concerts anymore. There is no need to take her to events anymore. There's no need to do that because she just let me know this is never going to be a physical relationship. And if it's never going to be a physical relationship, what are we doing? So my attitude as a man of means, as a man with money, my attitude is if you tell me you're not attracted to me in that way, why would I talk to you? Fat and fugly friend says that's shallow. That's shallow. Let me ask you this question. Do you think that's shallow? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. The 2008 Likette Calendar Release Party. This Friday at Canyon Club in Agoura Hills, California. Visit BlowMeUpTom.com for details. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likish 
show at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. All right. You heard my story. Let's hear what you have to say. 1 800 5 800 Tom. Of course, I told you it relates to an attractive woman who I know is an acquaintance and her fat and fugly friend, the attractive woman was dating a guy where she was hoping, you know, the guy was nice guy, had a lot of money, liked to go out to nice dinners and take her to nice places and and what have you, but really never found any chemistry there. And finally, the thing came to a head when the guy said, come with me to another country for a romantic vacation. And she said, I just not attracted to you that way. And the guy stopped calling. Fat and fugly friend says, how shallow. That's shallow. The guy should continue dating you, should continue calling you, even though there is no attraction. That's shallow. I don't think it's shallow. Do you? Elizabeth on the Tom Likens show. Yes. I got to tell you, Tom, you know, it's the same thing. Pump them and dump them and take the money and run. You got stung, baby. Wait, dear, first of all, this is not about me. Let's yeah, start with that. Yeah, I always tell time. you, I always, I always tell you what it's about me. Okay. okay. It's well. not about me. It has nothing to do with me. In fact, this story was told to me by somebody today. Guilt by association, my darlings. It's just the way the women work. There needs to be a woman that does a Tom, like a Tony. Lyons. Darling, I've got no, darling, I've got no problem. I mean, you don't hear what I'm saying. I did not complain about the fact that she was taking this guy for a ride and getting the meals and everything. I mean, if you have rules like I do, that can't happen to you, okay? Right, but and it doesn't, is not a bad name. It so doesn't it, happen it, to me. Go ahead. No, it doesn't happen to me, okay? But as far as these people are concerned, do you think the guy is shallow for not calling anymore? If that's if that's what she chooses to tell him that he's shallow, he's shallow. But no, no, she, she no, no. You didn't hear the story, and clearly you were not I did, listening. I did, I did. No, no, that, no. And now I'm going to explain it to you again because you weren't paying attention. So I put you on hold, and we're going to make sure you completely understand what I'm talking about here. It's the fat and fugly friend who called him shallow. It is not the attractive acquaintance of mine. It's the fat and fugly friend said. Why isn't the guy calling anymore? He's shallow. Attractive acquaintance of mine said, well, I can understand why he's not calling. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sleep with it. So the question is, is the guy shallow? The, then I'm answering you. Yes, the guy is shallow, but it's not a bad title. He is shallow. He's, he's shallow. shallow. He's shallow for not continuing to take her to expensive dinners. He's shallow for not continuing to take her to concerts. He's shallow for not continuing to take her to black tie events. Uh, because now he knows that there's no physical attraction. He had expectations of something that obviously he didn't, it wasn't there. So he's shallow not to just, there wasn't he having fun without the sex? Obviously not. So he's shallow. Well, no, no, no. But he's not shallow because... He was hoping this was going to ramp its way up to sex. He oh, was doing he was Please doing what chicks like you, suspicious. what what over the hill bags like you call for all the time. You say that men should be gentlemen. Can a man be a gentleman? He was being a gentleman. He was um, taking her to dinner. Um, he was taking her to concerts. He was taking her out. I and know. then when he found out there was no physical attraction, obviously it didn't matter how he ramped up. This was never going to happen. So he yeah. was perfect. He was perfectly right to to to, to say that's it. I'm out. Well, I, I, he ended the relationship, but he is shallow because he should have a. He doesn't have a mental capacity to continue a relationship without doing her. But, but I it's not only like that. Why daughter. should he pay for? Wait a minute. Why should he pay for everything? Why, if, if there's no relationship? No, it was no. It was based on ultimately expecting that there would be some physicality. And he should have took her out one time and one time. Only. I personally, if it were me, let me tell you something. If it were me, we wouldn't have gotten. We wouldn't have gotten to the first expensive dinner. We wouldn't That's have gotten what there. I'm saying. We would not have gotten there because if there's no sex in it, I'm not interested. He obviously isn't a very good friend because he didn't listen to Tom Micus 101. If it doesn't happen, I'm I didn't. I don't know him. He's no friend of mine. I don't know him. Okay, See, again, well, you're not paying any attention. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know him. The girls didn't tell him. 
about Tom Likas 101, which is right. Well, of course they didn't tell him. Of course they didn't tell him about Tom Likas. You bet they didn't. Because they want the... They want the flow of they want the flow of free meals and free concert tickets. They want that to keep coming. I will give my attractive acquaintance some credit. At least when finally there came a showdown on physicality, she said, "I can't lead you on. I'm not attracted to you." That way. All right. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Matt on the Tom Like Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Yeah, I wanted to say, no, it's not shallow for this guy to end the relationship. I mean, you know, I I have a few female acquaintances, and they're always surprised, like, when somebody is giving them stuff, taking them out to dinner and stuff. And I'm like, well, what did you think he wanted from you? If he's taking you out to expensive restaurants, he's taking you out. I mean, one thing, good on her for not, like, going to Europe and then just not sleeping with him the entire time, because I have known guys who've fallen for that one. They take the woman out to, like, Hawaii or something, and then they never Well, well I agree, and good on her, by the way, uh, for not accepting the trip. I mean, at right. least... Exactly. She did have exactly. limits to how far she was going to take this. I mean, I know one girl who's got, like, five engagement rings for, I mean, right. yeah, she slept with the guys, but she was, had no intentions of marrying him. And then she, like, gets, but they, they go, will you marry me? And she has no intention of marrying him, but she still takes the engagement ring and keeps it. I mean, at least good on her for not doing that. But, no, I don't think it's shallow. I mean, the guy had an expectation of what he wanted in the relationship. I'm sure he doesn't want to be standing around there, like, still trying to sniff after her, take her out to expensive dinners. And then, I mean, I'm sure she's probably banging some other guy on the side. You say she's an attractive woman. I mean, she's probably got no shortage of guys out there sniffing after her. Well, at the very least, I would say that somebody who dates a guy like that without sleeping with him probably dates other guys. Probably right. does. I'm, I'm sure of it. And, you know, if he doesn't, I mean, he probably doesn't want to be that guy who feels like the sucker every night because he takes a girl out to dinner and then she doesn't do anything with him. And then he probably goes out sometime and she's like, oh, no, I'm with this other guy. I mean, you know, we've, I, I'm sure about 75% of us have had that happen where we think we're dating a girl and then we're not, you know. And right. Oh, you thought this, this was, year, like, you thought that was a date. Right. And, but. You know, you spend whatever amount of money on her, and then it's like, well, what the heck did I do that for? Yes. So, no, I don't agree that it's I, – I agree that it's not shallow on that guy's part to say, look, if if this isn't going where I want it, then I don't want any part of it. So, exactly. Take me out, uh, Kobe Salvo. Here you go, Matt. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Uh, She's so special to me. Uh, uh, it's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here comes Sarah on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, I love you. I just had to start off by telling you that. Why? Thank and you. Also, this is making me so angry. So angry. Like, let me just start off. I'm like a Southern California eight, and I'm not joking you. And. I would never expect anything from a guy unless I was a 10. I feel guilty letting a guy pay for the first date unless I look like Jessica Alba. Like, I don't understand. This guy is so shallow because he took her on nice dates and expensive dates, and then suddenly he's cut it off. What kind of girl goes out with a guy she's not attracted to? Well, as I said, the explanation I got, and you may not buy it, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. The explanation I got was she dated this guy, and he was a nice guy. And a man of means, and he got to do cool stuff, go to cool concerts and black tie events and stuff. She was trying to find out if she could be attracted to the guy. Uh-huh. And she finally, when she was confronted with the idea of spending, who knows how long, a few days, a week. that's the key word, finally. Finally? Like, how long did this go on? It's like... It's not kind of sure. Ridiculous. I'm guessing from I'm guessing from the tone of the conversation, maybe a month or six weeks. Okay, well, I'm not promiscuous in any sort, but I know before a month if I'm going to screw a guy or not. I think most women know in the first 30 seconds. Oh, I definitely agree, 100%, and that's my point. So she knows, and she's trying to force. She either needed to suck it up and give him what he wanted, and, I mean, if he's spoiling her that much, I don't get spoiled like that, and I guarantee I probably look better than this girl, and I'm not just gagging. And I don't get spoiled like that. So she needed to either suck it up and give it to him very, very well or get over it after the first couple of days. Or just suck it up, huh? 
Yeah, no, what I'm saying is if you're going to be letting a guy whine and buy you, then what does he get out of it? You better right. make it worth his while. That's right. That's my opinion. Or if you know right away, I'm not interested, I'm not attracted, then why would you even, like, A, let a guy's feelings, if he's a nice guy and he's not pushing you towards sleeping with him and he's just being nice, A, you're endangering his feelings, which is not a nice thing to do, and B, you're leading him on and crushing his ego at the end. Like, no, I'm sorry. Thanks for all the whining and dining and the getting to know you, but I'm not sexually attracted to you. I think that she is a horrible person. It just made me angry to hear that. You think which one is a horrible person? The girl. She's horrible. Oh, you're talking about the woman who went on the dates, not not the uh, fat and fugly friend. Yeah, I know the woman who went on the date. Now, what about the fat and fugly friend who said the guy was shallow for not continuing to call her and go out with her? I don't, if she's fat and fugly, she probably doesn't have much experience with the guy. Well, that would be my, yeah, yeah, I agree with that 100%. She probably doesn't get asked doesn't out that often. How it goes. This is the woman who doesn't know when she's a booty call. Exactly. exactly. I, you, you, did you hear what I said earlier? This is a woman who said, and I'm quoting here, she said, the guys I go out with are not very good at planning. And the reason is because they don't call till like 10 or 11 o'clock at night, and then they come over and then they leave at 2 in the morning. Yeah, that's that's only for one thing. I've had a couple of those myself. <laughs> that, but the point is, it has nothing to do with planning. But exactly. But these girls that are letting guys take them on dates and spend money, because I'm not going to lie, if I am attracted to a guy, and you know, I ma I make my offer to give him something back, whether it's you know of a financial value or anything. Like if I offer to pay for a date or. And he declines. I'll take I'll take him up on his offer to pay. I'm not I'm not going to sit here in line and say I won't accept things, but I definitely would not accept a second date from a guy I'm not attracted to, mm -hmm. no matter what, no matter what. And I I know that girl's family, so that girl's horrible. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Brian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Good afternoon. Yes. Uh, yeah, I just want to comment on the shallow. There's only two things shallow here. Uh, one is uh, fat and fugly self-control with a spoon. And two, uh, her chances are very shallow of ever finding a guy who will shower uh, nice girls with gifts like that. Are you talking about fat and fugly or the attractive one? Oh, the fat and fugly. Her chances are very shallow of finding a guy like that, so she yes. shouldn't even comment. Yeah, I mean, really, uh, let, let's face facts. If you are fat and fugly, and trust me, we're talking fat and fugly here. If you're fat and fugly, it, you, you, you can't be asked out by nice guys who, who have money and take you to nice places. It's not going to happen. Especially from a woman who can only get booty from guys uh, too drunk to find anything else. Right. So I just wanted to comment on... Uh old chubby and uh, she shouldn't open up her fat mouth but uh can you blow me up of course i can 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number manual on the tom like his show hello hey what's up tom How much yeah, manual? i'm calling to, to um to talk about that fan fuzzy friend she shouldn't even be opening her mouth homeboy how is she going to be giving advice? I bet you she hasn't even been on a date. Well, she's opening her mouth all the time. That's how she got to be fat and fugly. Oh, that's true. I know she opens her mouth pretty good, but that's all she's good at, sticking stuff down there. <laughs> and how, how fine is that girl you're talking about, the one you know, the fine acquaintance? How fine is she? <laughs> I just got to tell you something. Talk about how fine she is. I'm thinking about this for a second. How fine is she? It really has nothing to do with it. I mean, this is somebody who... No, well, I'm, I, I would just like to picture in my head to see how fine she is. No, no, but it doesn't matter, okay, for the purposes of this conversation. I mean, she's very attractive. And look, let's put it this way. <laughs> um... She is attractive enough to attract rich guys to take her to expensive places. Uh-huh. So, based on my rules, how attractive would you say that might be? Uh, that's all right. All right? All right. Rich guys, how attractive are the women they get? 
guys? Uh, rich guys. Very, very hard. Dude. That's top of the line. That's stuff. what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, but but it depends where you meet this girl. Some 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 rich guys just have some nasty ass taste. Listen, pal. I'm just telling you it, it, we're going off on another tangent here. I mean, the bottom line is she is able to attract guys with money and you know successful guys. So you can imagine what that person might look like. <laughs> Thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. We're talking about a story I was told, and in short, an attractive woman is dating a guy, and she has not yet warmed up to the idea of any physicality with them, and they're going to dinner, and they're going to concerts, and they're going to black tie events and stuff like that. Finally, he kind of forces the issue by saying, come with me to another country for a nice romantic trip. So she finally has to say to him, but I'm just not attracted to you that way. After she says that to him, he stops calling. And the woman's fat and fugly friend says, this guy is shallow. Do you think he's shallow? Tom. Oh, yeah. Like this. Tom. Man. Like this. Like this. I listen to you every day after school. And my little brother, he's listened to you since he was eight. And he's ten now. And he wanted to tell you something. Yeah, Tom, you rock, dude. The Tom Likey Show. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood, the Tom Likes Show. I want 800 tom That's our telephone number. All right. We're talking about the guy who took my attractive acquaintance out to expensive meal, expensive concerts, black tie events. But uh, nothing physically had ever happened. And finally, he forced the issue by saying, Come with me on a romantic trip out of the country. And she said, I'm just not attracted to you that way. The guy hasn't called since. And my attractive acquaintance has a fat and fugly friend who told her, hey, that's shallow. I can't believe how shallow he is. Hampton, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Hampton. How are you? Great. Good. I want to say that I think both of the women are shallow because the fine friend is shallow for just, you know, being a, being a hole in this guy's pocket the whole time. And I feel that he shouldn't, uh, she shouldn't do that. And the fat friend, the fugly friend, who does she have to say, uh, how can she uh, be talking like that when she's just getting, uh, getting guys way late at night who are half drunk the entire time? Of course, the guy was a dope. Uh, for agreeing to take somebody out to more than one dinner and to concerts and all that stuff without getting anything back. I, I just don't understand. I've been listening to you now since I was 16, and I've been taking you to heart, and I don't think I'll ever spend more than $40 on another day ever again. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much, Tom. And I want, also want to say that my mom is the one that got me listening to you. I love that. I love it, too. Can you blow me old school style? You can blow you up? Yes. Yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Michelle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I wanted to say that uh, the fat and fugly friend complete hypocrite. She's not commenting on how shallow her friend is for not wanting to date him just because he's not physically attractive. Well, why would that make her shallow? Why would what? Why would that make her shallow? I I would only date people who are physically attractive to me. Well, that's true. But Th does that make me shallow? I don't well, care yeah, if you think it does. You're not looking at someone's depth, but yes, but but men have to get aroused. True. I mean, if I don't get aroused looking at you naked, what's the point? That's true. Once again, you're right, Tom. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye. Appreciate the call. Devon on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, I just want to call and defend this guy. I mean, I think it's so morally reprehensible that women, you know, truly feel that they are entitled to our herd and money. I mean, I think that's ridiculous. 
Well, you know, this person did have the option of going to another country for a romantic vacation and saying, I'm going to sleep on this side of the bed and you sleep on that side. She could have done that. I know. I mean, she should be flattered that he wanted to spend his time with her. I mean, be grateful that she was able to ride the gravy train as long as she could. Well, apparently she is because she did tell him, you know, I, I can't do this. She could have faked it. She could have kept going. I think the guy was a dope for agreeing to spend as much as he spent. Well, yeah, I mean, that just makes too much sense. <laughs> I mean, most people will take whatever they can get. Exactly. And then I mean, there comes a time when the price is too much to pay. Right. I mean, it's it's I, I, it's so ridiculous that women feel that it's like they... they you know, get to choose how we spend our money and just, you know, be freeloaders. But they don't because we have the right to say no. Right. The problem is too many of us are pussies and we don't say no. That's true. And we've I got to start. True. We've got to start saying no. And instead, uh, we're starting to propose more. That's right. Idiots. Yeah. Hey, Dad, can you uh, take me out, uh, Lacey Peterson? It would be tasteless if I did that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Grace on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. I uh, totally agree with the guy not uh, calling her back again because that's, that's she's just taking advantage of him. If he's not going to get anything out of it, that that sucks. But what? Uh, so the guy should never call again. I mean, yeah, it's it's yeah. done. Yeah. When somebody, I would. By the way, I don't care how much money is involved. When somebody tells you they're not attracted to you, Come that's on. the end of the line. It's yeah. done. There's plenty of other, you know, fish in the sea. There's Not matter if it's the man or the woman, it doesn't matter. When somebody says, I am not attracted to you, that's the end of the line. That's yep. the last stop. Get off the yep. train. That's it. Definitely. I, I, I do agree. I honestly think that her uh, fat, fugly friend needs to get her own life. Stop living through the hot chick. Well, it's kind of difficult when you are fat and fugly. Who's going to take you out on a nice date somewhere? I don't know. She needs to go get paid to get laid or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, she needs to pay to get late. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. It, it's so amazing getting to talk to you. I've been listening for a long time, and I agree with a lot that you say. I really do appreciate you letting me through. You can call me anytime, dear. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Loretta on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Love Long you. Long-time listener, first-time caller. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, both of them are shallow, or at least the friend isn't so bad because, I mean, your friend, because um, she's, uh, at least she's, she was honest with him about the Europe trip, you know. But, right. Um, I mean, she could have kept this uh, charade going. She could have gone to Europe with him and brought a flannel nightgown and prepared to <laughs> sleep in the other room or the other bed or on the floor. By the way, yeah. every man listening to this show has had this experience at least once. You're dating somebody. It hasn't gotten physical enough for you. So you decide that there's going to be only one way I can pull this off. I'm going to take her hostage. I'm going to take her someplace where I'm driving the car or I paid for the plane ticket. And she's going to be stuck there for a couple of days. She's going to have to bring a suitcase. And then we're going to confront this issue. And it's exactly. the worst possible thing you can do because somebody who doesn't want to sleep with you will say, I'll just sleep on the floor. I'll just sleep in the other room. Or why don't you let me sleep in the bed and I'll sleep on the floor. And, and, and you let me sleep in the bed and, and you sleep in the living room. That's what they will do. Yeah. The fat and fugly friend is really shallow, the shallow one. Your acquaintance, well, you know, if I would have dated the guy, I wouldn't even have gone out with him if I wasn't attracted to him in that way in the first place, you know. But uh, <laughs> if it's not in that way, if you're not attracted in that way, what other way is there? <laughs> exactly. You know, and just, you know, I agree with him. Just uh, don't call her back. You're not going to get anything out of it, so. Don't put anything into it. It's done. It's done. Thank you so much. And that's it, Tom. Blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. It's 
Sports. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Dennis on the Tom Likas show. Uh, Dennis, are you there? Uh, my brother from another mother. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay, look, I'm going to run this down to you because, like you said, the brothers are hardwired already for Likas 101. That's right. Okay, he was wrong from the beginning. I don't know how he let it get this far. That's not the rules. Am of I right course. or wrong? Of course, and he's clearly not a student. He is clearly not a student. He, he spent too much money from the beginning. So he was wrong from there. She did what she was supposed to do. See a sucker, bump his head. That's right. Okay. Now, had he just let her go, not showed any attention to her, she might have came back. You know, and if she doesn't, so what? If you got that kind of money, what are you, do- what are you doing wasting on somebody that ain't going to put out? That's right. Okay. This, you know, not even a three-day thing. I mean, come on. They already they got Viagra for men. They already had Viagra for women. It's called cash. <laughs> okay? <laughs> now, behind that. Forget it. It ain't happening. It's just not going to do it. Move on. <laughs> That's right. If cash doesn't get them lubricated, I don't know what will. This guy's got no game. None whatsoever. <laughs> okay? He's playing the game with no balls. <laughs> well, you're right about that, Dennis. No yeah, doubt about it. No doubt about it. But, I mean, you, you understand that. So, I, you know, I can't blame the women because that's what women do. You know that going into the game. Yeah, I like the caller earlier who tried to say that it was me, you know, hiding myself in this story. I would never do that. There's no, no, no way no, I'd no, be no. taking women to expensive concerts, and dinners. I did that years ago. That Those days are over. Those days are way over. I know what you mean. I mean, been there, done that, bought the T-shirt. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Okay, I, I mean I've gone out. You know, you talking about forty dollars? I've spent twenty. I like that. You know, because it's just not gonna happen. Why should I spend all my money on you? I don't even know you. That's right. You can't get in. You can't get into the good places on a rookie contract. That's exactly okay? right. You got, you got to play a few games and show me what you're gonna do. That's right. Then you get to go to the good places. That's right. And until it gets physical, it ain't gonna happen. Exactly. So why don't you uh, take me out with the a Kobe Bryant, a money shot, and a oh yeah. All right, Dennis, let's All see right. what we got for you here. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. We don't have the others? Oh, he said a money shot. Oh, what do we call money shot there in the uh, 360? Do we know? No. Splooge. Splooge? <laughs> I don't know. All right, we call it something. We'll have to rename it money shot because that's how people ask for it. one 800 500 It could be splat. Yeah, that's splat. Splat. one 800 500 top. There it is. There's the money shot. And an oh, yeah. I don't know if we have an oh, yeah in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Junior on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. First first time. Long time, first time. How are yeah, you, yes. buddy? Doing okay. You know what? What I think that fast, ugly friend, she's waiting for that guy to call her. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> you know what? If that shower guy was to give her a call, she'd go running right to him right away. Oh, she definitely would. No doubt about it. She wouldn't even think of her friend. Well, when my acquaintance told me about the conversation, before she got into the conversation, she said, uh, so I did this thing happened with this guy, and then I talked to Fat and Fugly, and I said, wait a minute, let me guess. And she said, would you mind if I date him? But of course, that's that's. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and and I'll bet she was thinking about that. Of course, you know what? I, I guarantee a hundred and ten percent. You know that that sh- the shallow guy that that she says he is for not calling her friend back. If he was to call her, I mean, she she'd open her legs right away. That's exactly right. You are exactly right, Junior. Thank you for the call. Our email address is my name. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.